Our mental health is so dependent on how we handle uncertainty and other feelings we don't like. And of course, trips are full of uncertainty. On this trip, uh, when I was in London to do the workshop, I uh, showed up uh, with Stuart from the OCD stores. We got to the venue really early to set up and the owner of the venue wasn't there. And so we waited, everyone started to show up for the workshop. The owner of the venue never showed and they never answered our emails or our calls. So we had all these people, we had to go and find another place to do the workshop. Or when I was coming up to Edinburgh, I'm in Edinburgh right now, sitting on the meadows. The night before I arrived here, I got a message from my Airbnb host that he had a water leak in his flat. Uh, his water was turned off then uh, and he had to cancel the reservation. So I very quickly had to find a new place to stay in Edinburgh at the last minute. And I would say those are relatively those were relatively easy uncertainties to handle on a trip. You are going to run into even more challenging uncertainties potentially on a trip or not. It's full of uncertainty. Some people might say the, the way to handle a tough situation is just to think positively and figure it out. Uh, I don't really care uh, whether you think positively or not. You can think however you want to think. If a rock is about to fall on us, uh, we can think positively about that. We can think, oh, there's a, a rock falling on my head. I'm gonna be positive about that. That's totally fine. You can do that if you want. The rock is still going to fall on your head and crush you. What I think is more important is what you do. It's how you're going to handle that rock that's falling towards your head. Things are gonna happen outside of your control, on trips and throughout the rest of your life. Think about them however you want. What matters is how you're going to act, what you're going to do about them. So I'm going to offer you two tips for overcoming uh, travel anxiety. These are really tips that you could apply to anything in your life and they have to do with uncertainty. So the first is to have a very clear understanding of what you want to do on your trip, whether it's a work trip or it's a vacation. Uh, have very clear goals that are totally within your control. For example, if you're planning a trip with somebody you love, maybe the thing that matters to you is spending time with them. So don't go and plan a trip where you have to see 50 million different things and you're constantly gonna be rushing to make train connections and you're you know, always gonna be putting pressure uh, on the other person to like hurry faster and like, you know, go and see this and go and see that. Or you're gonna be upset because it rained and you didn't get to see that thing. That's not stuff that mattered to you. The thing that mattered to you is spending time with that person. So uh, understanding that intention, understanding what's important to you is gonna shape how you plan your trip that's really something to think about there, but it's also gonna shape uh, how you react to things that come up on the trip. The thing to look at in terms of actions then is are you spending time with that person you love? So really understand what's important to you on the trip. How are you gonna spend your time and energy? The second tip is to make sure you're practicing learning how to handle uncertainty before you go on the trip. And you know, this is the thing that we always talk about on the, this channel, you know, that you're actually doing things you value, practicing accepting uncertainty, and not reacting to it with compulsions. One of the problems that people often run into is that leading up to the trip, they're engaging in all sorts of compulsions to check things and try to control things and worry about things. So they, they just prime their brain to react to uncertainty in this really unhealthy, anxiety-inducing way. And then they go on the trip and then there's even more uncertainty. So what does the brain learn to do with uncertainty? React to it, get upset about it, try to control it, and it just creates more anxiety. So before you go on your trip, really make sure you're, you're working on your mental health practice. You're working on accepting uncertainty. If you haven't built up your skills to handle uncertainty, to handle those big rocks of uncertainty falling at you, then it's only natural that when you go on a trip, into an environment where there's even more uncertainty that you're simply going to be more stressed out. Your brain is going to want to jump on everything and worry about it and try to control it. And it's, it's going to mess up your trip. So that really starts way before you even go on the trip. When you go on that trip, you can only have the skills that you've brought with you. Don't expect to be able to handle uncertainty on that trip if you haven't been practicing handling uncertainty in environments where there's even less uncertainty.